All right, you ready to do this? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh shit, wait, wait. I'm holding, do you want to be Augustana? I can be Augustana. Okay. Growing up, I heard a lot about war. I was told it was our curse, our concomitant, our consequence. For as long as humankind had its intelligence, our ideas would drive us apart. Sometimes the ideas were simple. Territory, power, money, control. Sometimes the ideas were larger than that. Complex enough to turn father against son. I suppose it makes no difference. No matter what we do, war is here to stay. It always finds us in the end. So it seems we are cursed to destroy ourselves. Even those of us who turn our backs on everything just so we can escape it are still stained with the scars. We're stained with the memories that steer us away from the next. I suppose this is the true curse of man, a madness built intrinsically in our hearts. And no matter how high we climb, we are cursed to tear ourselves down. It was war which created this world, and it is war which knocks on our doorstep now. I know in the end that war will claim my life, just as it claimed so many others. It seems that the war is on everyone's mind these days. I suppose it can't be helped. Not after Elswell sent droves of soldiers all across these archipelagos. The armistice is just an illusion at this point. I think that's just about the most serious thing I've ever heard you say, Augustana. Not that it's any of my business, but you're up a bit earlier than most mornings. It seems you know me well. I would sleep until noon if I could, but I have to be up early. It's harder to get work these days, so I can't be picky about my shipments, but that's okay. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning indeed, but I'm afraid it may just be my last in the Brimstone Isles. What? But how can that be? This port isn't any fun without you, besides. You share extra food when you harvest too much. You share extra fish when you catch too much. That kindness gets people through the day. This port's just plain without holding Noriega. I thank you for the kind words, but the fish just aren't biting anymore. It's the volcano, I think. It rumbles so much that it scares the fish away. The shaking and bursts keep me awake all night. The thing is, it reminds me of things that are better left forgotten. I almost forgot, since you never talk about it. I know you told me once you were in a war, but like with most things, you don't exactly say much. Can I at least ask which war? Elswell and their allies said they would stop attacking last year, but you arrived a little before that. No, but I've, I've heard about this war. Some of the villagers told me about the loved ones they lost in the island war. Some even asked me to help, but I fought before in the Hosoya Civil War, so I know war is more than just swinging around my sword. I said I could not help them. Not anymore. I always just stayed out of it too, but I think that's where we went wrong. I think we could have saved ourselves a lot of hardship if we stopped Elswell's invasion instead of turning away. Ugh. Look at what you did to me. I hate talking about serious things. Sorry, sorry. I just have a lot on my mind, and I thought about that as well. I told myself I'd help people best I can, but I still don't want to be a warrior. Not anymore. But the volcano isn't working for me, so I think I'll have to find somewhere else. I'll miss you, Augustana. Well, hell, Holden. I've got contacts in most ports, so look, so look me up if you ever get any money. Times are tough for a delivery girl. The Ellswell Navy stops half my shipments these days. Well, I'll send any business your way that I can. I'm afraid I can't contribute much myself. The only belongings I've got left are on my back. I've heard it said that you can tell a lot about a man by the items he prioritizes. Let's see for you. A collapsible rod, some food, some tools, a sword, and... Bottles? What are those for? Those are weapons, bottle bombs. Don't get me wrong, I decided long ago that I don't want to be a fighter, but I also know better than anyone that sometimes you don't get a choice. I don't want to fight, 
But if I do, I at least plan to win. I know I mentioned this before, but I can't help but think that we we'll, that we would all be better off if those who were able to fight decided they should. But then again, that's to say nothing of the damage already done. Besides, I'm a hypocrite. I'm strong enough to fight, but I sail the seas instead. Goals. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me for my amusement, but I've never seen this side of you before. I think when we met for the first time, you were dancing with a palm frond in a tide pool. You had a coconut full of rum. I didn't see you as the type to worry about things as big as war. These shackles are my proof that this life is only what I make of it. A constant reminder of all that I built and all that I lost. Were you a prisoner in the war? I heard that many people were captured and not just fighters. I heard some of them never made it home. I wish I could blame it on someone else, but nope. This imprisonment was a consequence of my own decisions, but eventually I decided to take my freedom for myself. I told myself I could do more good this way, at least if I ever decide to go in that direction. <laughs> Seems like we're more similar than I realized. Could be said that that becomes the conundrum of the condemned, doesn't it? We want to do something to redeem our damned souls for the crimes of our past, but we also want to lay low so no one can take away our ability to do exactly that. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. Computer's <laughs> dumb. You're having second thoughts, aren't you? Maybe. I, I think it might be time to do more with my life than just fish the day away. I always thought of this as my second chance at life, but I think I might be wasting it. I just don't want to cause any more harm than I already have. Then maybe it's worth heading to town. I saw a fire there in the night, and hardly anyone's made it to the shore by now. It's possible they could use some help. It's possible that the war spilled onto our quiet island. I think you might be right. I'll go see what I can do. Uh, if nothing else, thank you, Augustana. I truly hope you can reclaim your purpose out there in the ocean. It's like we said before, it's just something I have to see for myself. Farewell, Holden, Noriega. Oh yeah, this is a new thing I put here. It's like the Sea of Space Cowboy of, <laughs> of the series. I like that. <laughs> Who's Annalena? Do you want to be Annalena? I can be Annalena. All right. <laughs> I suppose it was always a uh, myopic fantasy believing that a quiet island like this could be spared the horrors of war. But I've seen it in a distant land. And now I've seen it here too. We're damned to quench this cycle with our blood until there's no one left to pay the price. We're all, we are all of us easy prey for the marauders. The battle that took place here is evidence of a reality we would have rather left ignored. Let us pray for their souls. Does that mean this truly was an act of war? I heard about the fire in the night, but really wasn't sure about the cause of all this. I am unfortunately sure. I already spoke with Norman Shawcross, the man who lived in this residence with his wife and another couple. Some men from Cape Kirhill attacked, and he says they captured his wife. They stole their belongings and killed everyone else in the house before disappearing into the night. If you don't mind me asking, but where is this Norman Shawcross now? I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but do you mind if I ask why you want to know? I've seen you around from time to time, and you're usually very helpful. I just don't see how you can help now. I may not look it, but I know a thing or two about war. This was likely a recon mission, not a true battle, but I know how to handle them nonetheless. I want to meet with this man, Norman. I want to get his blessing to save the one who was taken, even if I must fight to do it. He's over by the West Road, but I truly wish you'd reconsider. You look strong, but there's a reason that Ellswell's supremacy has gone unquestioned in these islands. They possess far more than ordinary strength. 
I'm sure they do. But we as people are not meant to let the savages walk all over us. I know you know that. I can tell you hate war even more than me. But that bow on your back isn't just for show. My bow is the boundary between fantasy and reality. My weapon is my declaration that I believe in my own right to live. I am Anna Elena Mercia, and I deserve that, at least that. You've got a good head on your shoulders, Anna Elena. I hope you can find the peace you deserve. Sorry to intrude now at all times. I know this has to hurt. Are you Norman Shawcross? Yeah, I am. I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I'm in no place to accept my any condolences. It doesn't do me any good to hear that people feel sorry for me. I'm not the type of man to put much stock into sympathy or regret. Something about the past being set in stone. I heard your wife was taken. I want to help bring her home. I know you don't know me, but I have a long history of using my strength to get what I want. I don't mean to rain all over your big hero moment, but there's nothing we can do. If my best friend and I if my best friend and I couldn't stop those raiders, then what hope do you have? I'll have to hunt them down another time. After I heal, after I form a plan. Either that, or I'll get myself killed. You've got nothing to lose by telling me where they went. I'm a stranger to you, so it shouldn't hurt anything if they kill me like you think they will. You've got nothing to lose. What the hell is your angle? You don't know me, and it's not like I've got much to pay you with. Are you one of those guys that just fetishizes fighting? I suppose you could call it that, but I haven't fought for real in years. I hoped and prayed all these islands were safe from war, but I was wrong. These raiders won't even know what hit them. If you hope that this island was safe and turned out to be wrong, then why is this any different? You think you can stop these guys, but what if you're wrong again? They'll just kill you. You were already wrong once. Got no reason to detest my own end. I can drop this if that's what you really want, but it seems odd at the very least. Do you not want to see your wife again? Of course I want to see her again. Sadie Shawcross means everything to me. I'm just not in a place where hope is ever an op even an option. 12 hours ago, I went to bed with my wife in our home with our only friends. 12 hours later, I now have nothing. Then let's go get her back, you and me. Fine. They went along this path to the Western shore, but I'm sure they're already gone. I imagine that she's not the only one they plan to take in the Brimstone Isles. I'm sure they set out already, so they're long gone. You'll have to run if you want a shot. Try to catch up if you can. I'll strike him down on the shore. What an unusual man. I think we might go to 1-3. Hmm? Don't take another step. You're going to tell me where you've taken Sadie Shawcross. That's an unusual accent you've got there. You aren't from this archipelago, are you? You don't have any idea what happens to the people who get in our way. <laughs> Why don't you show me? And once I tear you down, you will tell me what I want to know. Well, first fight. I'll take one, you take one? Sure. All right. Let's see. So, oftentimes a good strategy with this game is to just kind of let them come at you first. Uh, not, not always, there's definitely some exceptions. But what I'm going to do here is just kind of get a little closer, let him make the first move. So see, he's coming at me with a hatchet chop. I've got a few options. Um, this one's kind of tough because the, the opponent, even though he's like a low-level grunt, he's got some pretty scary moves coming. I'm just going to kind of guard this one, take a little bit less damage because I'm kind of afraid of what else he can do. Okay, looks like that didn't get him anywhere. All right, he's going for a slash. Probably gonna block that. And at this point, I'm just gonna try to try to knock him down best I can. Uh, 
he's got a few things that are kind of worrying here. So, there we go. Dodge the uh, slash, jolt closer, maybe go for a firebomb. Nice. Okay, yep, bottle bomb hit him pretty hard. Oh, and I can get a sword lunge in. I'm actually going to hold off on that for now. Oh, I probably should not have held off on that. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, he hit me pretty hard, so... Uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. might, might be a uphill battle from here. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's the beginning of the game. How hard could this be, right? Uh, yeah, I've, I've actually thought about how this first fight is actually, like, harder than most fights, which probably isn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably something I should adjust or at least like take away some of their moves because they're you know they're they're kind of tough all right let's see so you have to chop mm. yeah it's not like a ton of damage mm -hmm. i I usually guard this one but th this guy's kind of dangerous like yeah it's nice. it's cross that. yes that's probably much better than what I did <laughs> <laughs> Attempt to firebomb. Yeah. Because if, if he dodges, at least he got rid of the dodge at that point. Right, which is true. My, my only thing with firebomb is I like that I can use it from a distance. Whereas, like, a sword lunge, I can't really. True. But, I mean, you, you saw how well my strategy got me, so <laughs> do whatever you like. Let's see. Um... Like, whatever feels natural. Hmm. Try fire bomb. Strong sword. Oh, this is gonna work out. Cause if you dodge this, your fire bomb still goes through. Where it wouldn't if we did a high, like a high strike or something. Oh. This really works out. Dodge. Hey. The only thing is, like, now you really gotta get close to him, cause <laughs> you, you know how he can throw the the tomahawk. Yeah. Or hatchet or whatever he's got. You do not want to be far away for that. True. That's true. Hmm. It's kind of tough because, like, if you can get him with the high strike, you win. I'm kind of hoping he throws his tomahawk. That's, so that's I, a good strategy. So I can dodge it. That's a good idea because duck and slash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to lose our first fight. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a double loss, I think. Yep. <laughs> okay, well. Now they know how checkpoints work. <laughs> God damn it. Embarrassing. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. You know what? I'm gonna try something different. <laughs> yeah, this is the first fight, too. I, I, I promise most of them are easier than this. I really gotta do something about this. So, I'm just gonna go on the attack. We've killed him in one turn, so we don't need to wait for a second turn. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to kill him. Whatever. This way, we have the advantage. Like, look, look at this. I did get kind of lucky that he chose to dodge here, because that, that's not... I got him for 15 damage, Jesus. like, in, in one hit. Why didn't we just do this from the start? <laughs> oh, he's throwing his hatchet, but he's faster. Yeah, I'm just going to dodge that. Man, if I can hit him with a firebomb from here... Oh man, never mind. It was worth a try. <laughs> Sword lunge, and he's already dead. I I'm not lost any health. Okay, so this fight's not hard. I'm just real dumb. <laughs> yes. By the way, I programmed this fight. So. <laughs> oh god. All right, you're up, man. You got this. Here we go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're still letting him come at you. Okay, all right, all right. Trying some different things. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Let's see. Same stack, okay. No. Seven slash, oh, cross that. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. Again, we're going to attempt the fireball. Attempt the fireball. <laughs> it worked out last time. He tries to dodge. Oh, yeah, get him with the wide swing. Wide swing. Dang. All right, the firebomb might not have hit, but that did. Yes, yes, it did. Dodge. There we go. There we go. That's much better. 
Yeah, at this point, just watch out for his wide swing, and you should be okay. He, That's has, really a wide, only, he has a wide he swing. He does have a wide swing. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> yeah, just just be careful. Okay. High swing? Uh-uh. Where's, where's the high swing? Whatever. I think we still won, though. Yes! Yeah, we okay. won. All right. <laughs> Why was that so hard? <laughs> right. <laughs> I gave you fair warning. You are never dealing with some ordinary swordsman. Please, tell me what I want to know, and I'll have no reason to finish you off. We were specifically stationed on this shore to stop anyone from following the rest of us. You realize that if I told you where they went, it would do more damage than if we never, if we were never here at all. That's that's one thing I like. Like. Normally, the uh, bad guys in any game are just, like, can barely speak English, mm -hmm. you know? But these are just, like, regular guys on the wrong side. If anything, they speak English a little too well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, surely you realize that it doesn't concern me if this messes up some raider's plan. I already said I don't want to take your life, but I won't even think twice if I decide to do it. You have to ask yourself, is loyalty to some raiders really worth risking your life? It makes no difference. I don't have to answer. I don't have the answer you seek. We were simply told where they would find us when they took the people they wanted. Where did they say you would meet? Tell me that and I'll let you live. On the shore north of here, there's a merchant shop near the beach. There isn't any harbor, so we got some wooden boats to row out to the rendezvous. We were supposed to meet between Brimstone 1 and Brimstone 2. Why would you tell us this? It could just as easily be directions to an ambush. <sighs> Believe what you want. But I think the swordsman is right. This job isn't worth my life. When the Cape Kirhill Islands went to war, we were conscripted into service, forced to fight whether we wanted to or not. I don't owe them my existence. I may have taken some hits in that fight, but I have no fear of walking into a trap. I'm willing to go after them if you are. Probably sounds weird, but I forgot how fun this can be. I don't care what your motive is. Hell, you could be a mass murder murderer for all I care. They stole from me the woman I love, and I'm determined at all costs to get her back. If you're willing to help, I accept regardless of your reasons. I didn't think it was possible before, but you're strong. Let's just get a move on. No telling how far ahead of us they are. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm happy to do this whether we succeed quickly or not. There's something satisfying about fighting off a bunch of raiders. I suppose so, but I never cared much about feeling an area from freeing an area from war. Stronger men than me have tried. It's just a matter of protecting the ones I'm meant to defend. I failed for our friends, but at least I can save Sadie. Forgive me for saying so, but you don't seem surprised that you were targeted. Most civilians who find themselves in the crossfire lament that they were even involved. It doesn't seem that way with you. I can't say for sure, but I have reason to believe that this wasn't a random attack. They would have taken me too if I hadn't scrambled out through the shadows. I have an estranged brother, I guess you'd say. He found his way in the wrong people, as far as I can tell. I suspect that this is related. Forgive my confusion, but I suppose I'm struggling to piece this together. Why would Raiders care that he's involved with a bunch of thugs? Unless you mean... A group of men influenced the war that's raging in these archipelagos. It said that they started the entire thing. They're secretive, but I unfortunately know that my brother's in deep with them. I imagine there are factions who would rather not see their supremacy. It can be hard to tell for sure. Whatever their reason, I'm sure we can beat it out of them when we get her back. Of course, if we want to do that, we'll have to pick up the pace. At least we're close now to the mountains. You're right. And I'm sorry. The injuries I've got are worse than I cared to admit. I even brought a few potions with me, but I wanted to save them. Bad decision. Can you help me? 
options tab, start menu. Oh yeah, we know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Five potions. Yep. Let's see. Norman's at zero, so we should probably heal him That's up. That's crazy. Uh, Holden's... Holden's doing okay. Alright, our last one. We can heal Holden by three or heal Norman by five. Probably Norman, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. We're out of potions, thank you. <laughs> I'll we'll save it while we're at it. I've been using File Tool lately, so. Yes. Thanks for the help. Let's try to get a move on. For all we know, the Raiders could have already left. For all we know, they could besiege the Brimstone Isles altogether. Either way, we can't waste any time. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. What a fascinating coincidence. You're, ex you're exactly the one we're, we were looking for. Call it a coincidence or call it karma. It makes no difference. Your decision is simple. Tell us why your, your raiders have invaded our islands or suffer the consequences. I'll beat you both within an inch of your lives, then take you like we tried before. All right, so we've got Holden and Norman versus the seismic soldier. All right, um, you want to take this one? I will let you take this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see how far Norman can get. Powerful Warhammer Slam. Mm. Very nice. Oh, it's just automatically starting with that? Uh, it looks like, yeah. <laughs> Jolt back and throw, he dodges. At least we're both safe from damage. Mm -hmm. I, I can accept that. Do I want a knife throw now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if nothing else, I got him for 2.2 .2 damage. Mm -hmm. if, if nothing else. If nothing else. He's jolting closer. This is kind of tough, because, like, even if I do jolt closer, too, I won't be able to hit him. So I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. He'd be able to hit me, but I wouldn't be able to hit him. A Warhammer uppercut. Okay, all right. That's that's good. That was... He's throwing a rock at me. <laughs> all right. Blocked it with a shield. It did basically no damage. Oh, I put a little scroll bar in here. Cool. Because <laughs> the damage just keeps doing this. So I was like, if I put a scroll bar in there, it's no big deal. Instead of fixing the real problem, I did that. <laughs> All right, full force stab. Tries to block while throwing a kick. I'm gonna stab him again. Okay, all right, all together we got him for like six damage. No okay, good, no bad. Yeah, I'll take that. His health's getting pretty low. Let's see, swift slash. Going after me with the shaft. Um, if I don't win this turn, I'm dead, so. <laughs> He's gonna. Knife throw, ooh. Oh. Or hammer sling. This one's tough. This is a tough one. Shield block. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I, I don't want to get too far away from him. Okay, I hit him for almost five damage. He hit me for two. This is going okay. Mm -hmm. Jolt closer. Swift slash. He still has another react left. This guy is crazy. <laughs> Shield slam. Well, that hit him. Yep. He's got two and a half health left. And I'm, I'm dead at this point. There's not a whole lot I can do. You got this, Norman. I believe in you. Oh, jolt back and throw. If this hits, we're good. Mm -hmm. It reset. So I think he has his dodge again. Yeah. Oh, he does have his dodge. Oh, Okay, Norman died. He was too close. <laughs> yep. All right, Holden. Well, you're 19 to 1.9, <laughs> so you should have this one. At least I really hope so. All right, this should do it. Yeah, Norman did all the heavy lifting on that one. So be it. 
If you're truly so desperate to know, then here's the reality. While the other archipelagos are rich in resources, the Brimstone Isles have become rich and valuable people. The Seismic Flux Syndicate aims to recruit these men while we still can, even if it's an indirect process. What the hell is the Seismic Flux Syndicate? I was under the impression that you fought for Elswell. Go find my comrades in Brimstone too, and you might just find out. That is, of course, if they don't all dismember you first. I hoped I would never hear those words again. I never thought that the Seismic Flux Syndicate would come to these islands. I guess I thought these archipelagos were too desolate to catch their eye. I guess I was wrong. You know who these people are? Please, you have to tell me everything. They still have Sadie. I can proceed. Okay. I also heard the name, but only ever in passing. In the time before I left, they stoked the rebellion that caused the Hazoya Civil War. But they did more than just encourage war. They provided the weapons which the rebels used to fight. I don't know if anyone ever found the reason. Countless friends are dead because of them. I also know of them because of my time in Hazoya, but they weren't well known. Hardly anyone knew of their involvement. It was a secret mostly known only among the rebels. How had you heard of them? My brother believed in revolution even before the war began. He was a doctor, and there was a time when he presided over the rebels' field hospitals. It was then that he learned of the syndicate pulling all the strings. You're the woman who helped me after the fire, aren't you? Did you follow us here? That's one way to put it, yes. I followed you here, but only because I was afraid you might need help if you found them. A boat can really come in handy if I found out you were in trouble. I'd say forget about all that. I don't need anyone else getting dragged into my own mess. It's awful enough that Holden here got dragged into it, let alone Sadie and our friends. I can't ask for anything else. I want to be here. Ever since I left Hisoya, well, I've felt defeated ever since. I just lament the past, nothing else. Both of you made me realize something this morning. The world won't just bend to become what we want. I need to do what I can to change this world for the better. So, we're all in agreement then? We'll rid these islands of the Seismic Flux Syndicate. We'll find Sadie Shawcross. We'll uncover everything the Syndicate is up to. At the very least, we can see where to go from here. From there. I can't read. <laughs> it sounds good to me. I feel like I'll owe you more than I could ever repay when this is over. But one step at a time. Although, with that said, there's no telling when we'll find a, a merchant again. We should stock up on supplies now while we still can. I probably picked up that beef. Good thinking. Some potions would be smart, but it seems like we have a habit of throwing out, throwing away our weapons. Between her arrows, your knives, and my bottle bombs, we don't want to run out. <laughs> Let's see what they got for us. And this is about to be a whole big thing. We'll introduce it to you guys next time. But we're on scene 100. That's a good place to stop. Yeah. So, let's see. Save game. File 3. Perfect. Alright, hope you enjoyed.